Hello everybody, it's Jordan Computer Scientist here, doing leak code until we get a job. So, um, I have an interview in a couple of days, and looking, you know, around, um, I figured out that I should focus on 2D arrays and stuff, so I'm going to be focusing on 2D arrays. Um, so, this is an easy problem, dealing with 2D arrays, so, yeah. Let's just let's just hop right on into this, you know, let's stop playing around. So richest customer wealth. Um, I originally did this by myself and then after it, and it passed, like I successfully did it. And then I was just I looked at a solution to see how I can make it more efficient. Um, yeah, like I, I don't I swear, I swear I read somewhere they want you to make a, a nested for loop in O of N. And I was like, that's not possible, but whatever. Let's read this. You were given an M by N matrix. It's the same as the integer grid. Accounts where accounts IJ is the amount of money the ith customer has in the jth bank. Return the wealth that the richest customer has. A customer's wealth is the amount of money that they have in all their bank accounts. The richest customer is the customer that has the maximum wealth. So uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, at first I was kind of confused. because I, like, <laughs> I thought like, these were the customers right i thought like it would be like one two and three and like the less like the second column would actually be their wealth but um yeah no that's that's wrong because you know i th row j th bank but like the first row counts as a bank for each column if that makes sense so it goes by row so is one plus two plus three three plus two plus one here they're both six right then you go down here and you see one plus five, seven plus three, three plus five. And three plus five is eight, this is 10, this is six. So you know that 10 is the maximum amount. So you return 10. Yeah, yeah, the output is actually 10. The, the output is the amount that the, is the richest customer. So in order for this to happen, um, let's just create a actually let's let's actually no let's let's do that um let's create a variable called wealthiest and then let's let it equal zero and then we're going to create a nested for loop so for int i equals zero i less than j uh not j i less than less than less than accounts whoops accounts actually i can wait is it taking m in no, it's not. Okay, less than accounts. So I'm gonna take, I'm, I'm gonna look at that and make sure I have that in my mind. I was thinking of like, you know, how it says M by N of here. I was just gonna be like for M less than N, M, and then for the next one, just be like less than N, you know, and instead of this, but whatever. Uh, dot length, and I believe in Java, you have to do the parentheses because I keep forgetting. And then you have J, I mean, I plus plus keep miss saying things. Now let's go into this next for loop, right? For I, sorry, for I and T, I and J <laughs> equals zero. J less than accounts, uh, I dot length, right? Cause this is going to be each row. This is for all the columns. I'd say row, I meant to say column, sorry. Uh, dot length. With this, we have accounts dot length. So that goes for all of the rows. Yeah, and then this one goes to a specific row and then counts all the columns in that row. So yeah, inside of this, we're, we have a function. So we are gonna do, uh, in here we're gonna do wealthiest plus equals, I have to return something. I'm gonna test this, cause I, I'm just gonna, actually let me return wealthiest. Uh, obviously this isn't gonna work because it's just gonna, it, wealthiest is still gonna be what it equals right now and then it's gonna keep adding on. So it's gonna be like some absurd number, but I'm just making sure that I'm printing something. So yeah, I'm getting an error. So, oh wow, okay. So um, the reason I wasn't getting this running is because I had this wrong. So I was like, what's wrong with this? I forgot there's a matrix and matrix have two of them. So wow, embarrassing, but let's run this. 
we should get some kind of output. Here we go, 12. So yeah, obviously the answer is in 12. So I'm just trying to see how I can gauge this. So I'm gonna create a variable inside of here. And I'm gonna call it temp. It's just used just for like a placeholder. And I'm gonna use it to equal zero every time the loop restarts. And it's just gonna basically be like the last one. And wealthiest is always gonna equal the new value, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, wealthiest plus equals accounts. IJ, and then under here, we just make temp equal wealthiest. Actually, we don't even gotta make it equal wealthiest. We could just make temp equal, no. Yeah, let's make temp equal wealthiest. <laughs> And I'll worry about efficiency later. Temp equals will wealthiest. Um, and then after that, uh, we just do wealthiest. We're, we're, re we're redoing wealthiest. So wealthiest equals max uh, wealthiest comma temp. And then, yeah. This should, and in return wealthiest, this should work. Hopefully, if everything goes in my favor, max and int. This should work. I don't know why max isn't. I'm gonna look up this function really fast to make sure I'm using it right. Okay, I'm not using it right. Right, it's actually math dot max. Uh, forgot if it was lowercase or not though. But okay, here we go. It's wrong. This is wrong. This should be temp actually. And I shouldn't need this. It should be temp plus equal accounts and then wealthiest equals, yeah, wealthiest equals wealthiest in accounts because wealthiest isn't getting, okay, this one should work. Oh, there we go, we got it. So, um, yeah, as you can see, the reason it was failing was because I was using wealthiest to add every time and temp never, like temp would go back to zero but wealthiest wasn't going back to zero so that's how it kept adding itself. And yeah, but essentially, um, I'm initializing this once, I'm initializing this once, and, well, no, I'm reinitializing it down here, but it's okay, it's kinda needed, and this is okay also. Yeah, I think this is my most efficient, so, um, yeah, let's, let's submit this, see how that compares to everyone, cause I think this is my, the same as my last, nope, it wasn't the same as my last code, but it's chill, it, it doesn't matter, you know, we, we, we got, we got it passing. Yeah. So obviously I'm not like recording all of my leak code, but I'm just like picking and choosing some problems to record and get some content out. But uh yeah. I'm just gonna keep leak coding and applying for jobs because that's what that's what we're doing. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join my Discord. The link is in the description. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name on Instagram is jordancs.js. My name on X, because I keep saying Twitter, X is jordancs. I really appreciate all of you, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. I'm insecure still, and she's starting to notice. She think my feelings are